All right, since a few users have been asking me on how to install 4.4.4 on the NL1 baseband, um, this is a video on how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to downgrade whatever 4.4.4 baseband you're on back to uh, Android 4.4.2. I do have a video on that. So first you got to follow that video, downgrade it to 4.4.2, and you do and you do go to the NC2 baseband, and you also want to root it. There, it's uh, everything's on the website. Um, you have to have root and install safe strap and stuff like that. Here's a link. Um, just click on the if if you're on 4.4. Here's how to downgrade easily. And in this in this uh, blog right here, it also tells you how to root it and how to install safe strap. So here's all the files you need. Um, I will post a video from YouTube that I made right here, so you can have a quick access to it. Um, okay, so the first thing you needed to get is you need to install the NL1 the rooted stock ROM so that's on the Android ho the Android file host.com website and you're also going to need a computer to install the NL1 stock kernel through Odin so I already have these two files downloaded this one's on my phone on the micro SD card you have to install it on your micro SD card so SafeStrap can recognize it and also you want to download NL1 stock kernel onto your computer so you have to use that through Odin and if you want to see the change log to the NL1, just click on this link. It'll take you directly to it. Okay, so I'm going to show you I already have the files downloaded. As you can see right here, NL1 rooted ROM. And here's the other files you need, but that's a whole different video. Okay, so I do have root already, so I'm going to reboot into uh, SafeStrap. So here it is, SafeStrap. Okay, so as you see, super user, I've been okay, whatever. You want to click on reboot to recovery. And also, um, safe, safe strap will not work on Android 4.4.4. I am going to post up a video on how to work around that. You do need the the J, I believe it's JD5 baseband, but I will have a video on how to do that if you ever need safe strap, for example, to install a custom recovery ROM. I'm going to show you how to, how to work around safe. Um, operating safe strap on this one which is 4.4.4 so on 4.4.4 you cannot use safe strap but there is a way to work around that and I will have a video it's quite easy the only thing you gotta do is change the kernel through Odin but I'll get that in another video I will have the the link right here I'll have the annotation right here or there will be down in the comment section below so to install 4.4.4 NL, NL1 um, ROM Okay, so this is stock, so if you do have anything on your phone, you do want to make a backup. So you do a backup through whatever you want, so just data and system. And once you have that backup, you want to go to, um, you want to click, uh, you want to click on wipe, and you want to click advanced wipe, and you want to click on Dalvik cache. Not, and you want to make sure micro SD card is not selected, so you want to uncheck that, data, cache, and system so once you have that you want to swipe swipe it and make sure do not select micro SD card slot so it is formatting your phone right now you want to click on back back and back you want to click on install and you want to go to wherever you have your file save it I have mine on my micro SD card slot so as you can see it's right here NL1 stock you want to select that and you want to swipe to confirm flash okay so I'm gonna let that install and I'm gonna pause this video so you don't get like a 20 minute video so I'm gonna let that install right now and then I'll come back to you guys later alright so that took about two minutes two to four minutes to download to install and everything so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on a reboot system but before you click on reboot system you want to go back because remember safe strap does not work on 4.4.4 .4. so you want to click on advanced sorry not advanced you want to click on reboot and you want to enter download mode so you want to go to download right here and you want to open and you want to select that and it should reboot to download so give that a couple seconds to reboot and you okay once you're on that I'm gonna take it to my computer screen you want to connect it to your computer and you want to open up Odin I'll show you how to do that let me take you to my computer screen we'll go from there Okay, so as you can see, my my phone is connected to my computer. 
Um, you want to open up Odin. All the files are in the website I have provided. Um, you want to open up Odin 3.10. You want to click on that. And then you want to click on yes to the UAC. Okay, once you have that on there. Um, you want to make sure you have the, the kernel downloaded. It is on my website. So you can see it's right there. nl one stock kernel. You want to go to Odin. You want to open up Odin again. And you want to click on AP. Okay, once you have AP, you want to go to your desktop, and there it is, NL1 stock kernel. You want to hit open, and then it say, you want to hit start on the bottom, and then it should take about 10 seconds. Okay, and on your phone, your phone should reboot, and that's how you install the NL1 baseband and stock ROM which is the latest update to AT&T um, that's pretty much it um, I do I will have another video on how to access safe strap on 4.4.4 so if you ever want to like install a custom recovery or anything um, I'll show you how to do that you should have you should still keep root um, I'm gonna let this load and then I'll show you that there's still root it is a uh, 12 54 p.m. And I'll have that once it's done loading back up. You just have to go back and uh, set up your phone. So we're just gonna hit. We're just gonna go through this really quick. Okay, there you have it. Um, you should go to your Play Store, and then you want to add um your Google Drive and stuff like that. And that's how you have um. There you go, you're on version NL1, NL1 which is 4.4.4, and there it is, 4.4.4. And I'll show you, I still have root, let me just download the um, root checker and we'll go from there. We're signing in, I don't want to back up, don't want, okay. Okay, okay, we're going to let this load and install the updates and stuff like that. Alright, so I finally came up, you want to hit accept. And just to make sure you're still rooted, um, you should have Super SU. So the next thing you want to download is um, you want to download BusyBox. And so BusyBox, you want to install that. Accept. Let's see if I can focus that. Okay. You want to hit open. You want to hit install. You want to hit, you want to, as you can see, you're already rooted. So it says grant. Just hit, just hit grant and then hit install. Checking system and stuff like that. So just give that a few minutes to load. I'm going to let this install. Okay, there it goes. It installed. Okay. So. The next thing you want to do is you want to install a safe strap. Remember, the file should be already be on your micro SD card. If not, the link in the description will be on there. So, install safe strap. Safe strap. It is version three points. Okay, so it's going to say installation block. You want to allow unknown sources. Um, you want to scroll down to uncheck verify apps. Allow unknown sources. Allow this installation only. You want to uncheck that and then hit OK. Hit install. And then you want to hit open. And you want to hit grant. Agree. And as you can see, it's already on there. So reboot to recovery. You do not want to check on that because remember, you do not, it will not work on 4.4.4. .4 .4. I will have a video on how to on how to boot into SafeStrap. Um, on the link, there will be a link right here on how to do that. Give me about a couple couple minutes to have that video up and running. And this has been a video on how to install 4.4.4 .4 baseband last three ending in NL1. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I helped a few people out and have a good day.